Good evening, guys. You're gonna wanna stick around for this. Well, actually, let me preface it by saying this. If you're reading the subject line and you're saying, I am not a morning person, Katie, I'm not gonna listen to this, you need to stick around for this because trust me, I wasn't always an early morning crazy person that wakes up at 5 a.m. I am now, but I wasn't always that way. <laughs> um, and if you are a morning person, I challenge you to tune in here and see if you're already doing any of these things I'm gonna share about. Um, to start your morning and to start your day. So the topic tonight is when your morning and when your day. And so I wanted to share on this because deciding to win my morning, which actually started maybe around five years ago, is funny, it popped up on my uh, timeline today for Facebook, funny enough. Uh, I had posted something about, you know, woohoo, a week into my 5 a.m. wake ups, this, that, and the other, so it was kind of funny. but. Um, it's really important to me because when I finally started doing that, um, I felt it just really helped me and was a game changer, not just personally as a mom, as a wife, as a person in my business as well. Um, but it's definitely when I think back to anything that was really significant and having a, a change in my overall life, it was definitely this idea of starting to win my mornings and get up early. So I just wanna share a little bit about um, some tips and tricks for how you can do that, things that I've done before that have worked well for me, and I hope that you can maybe even take away one thing that you might start implementing yourself. Um, or like I said, if you're already winning your morning, maybe something, you know, maybe you'll learn something new here. But, um, Anyhow, the reason that I feel that this is so important, at least has been important for me, is because if we look at ourselves, right, most of us are fulfilling multiple roles, whether it's being a mom or working a full-time job where you have to leave the house, or maybe you're working a business from your house. Maybe you're the PTA president or you coach your kids sports or whatever, right? We have lots of roles that we fill and we are constantly giving pouring into other people, which is an amazing thing, right? I'm not, I'm not like knocking on that, right? It's an amazing thing. But because we're giving so freely to everyone else all the time, it is so important for us to make sure we're filling our cup as well, okay? Filling our cup with things that are going to make us feel good. And so, and you know by now, if you followed me, that that's something I feel really strongly about, that if we want to be able to give more, to the people that we love and care about and are pouring into, we've got to pour into ourselves first. And so for me, um, the morning, the early morning time is when that happens. Uh, because yeah, that's just, that's what I have found works in, in my life is getting that done first thing in the morning. Not only that, it just, when I have time for myself first thing in the morning, it helps me um, just to come into the day with a better mindset and a more positive attitude. and just feeling good about myself. So my first suggestion is going to be to win your morning. Maybe right now for you, it just means getting up 15 minutes earlier. Okay. Even if it's just 15 minutes at this point, my routine is like a few hours, but if you need to start with just 15 minutes, that's fine, but get up 15 minutes earlier. And what I'm going to say is don't go diving into your emails into your text messages, into social media, into Pinterest. Okay, those things, whether you think they do or not, I, I, I don't personally feel like they fill our cup in a way that's, um, you know, benefiting us necessarily. So instead of doing those things, I challenge you to maybe do one of the things I'm going to share about. Okay, so 15 minutes is where you can start. Now, I am going to add a little side note here, you also need to be mindful of the season of life you're in. If you are a mom to a newborn baby and you are waking up around the clock, you know, feeding and getting them back to sleep, like enjoy the time, enjoy this phase right now. Don't put pressure on yourself to have to wake up early in the morning to do all these extra things. If you can fit some, you know, self-care and other things in throughout the day, awesome. But I know when Christian was six months old and I was still nursing around the clock, there was no way I was getting up any earlier than I had to. Your rest is important. So that's a little side note. Respect the season of life you're in. Okay, but if you are in a place where your kids are sleeping decently, right, and you can commit to getting up at least 15 minutes early than you normally would, earlier than you normally would, I can't speak, I want to challenge you to do that. Um, 
All right, so the, there's two main things that I kind of have incorporated in my morning routine over the years, over the last five years, which is crazy to think. It's been that long. Um, and the two themes are mindset and movement. So I'm gonna talk about mindset a little bit first, because honestly, this is the one that I never did before. Um, and when I say mindset for me, I mean, it's like personal development time. And I used to think that was corny. Like I never, I was like, who, like, I don't, I'm not like, I don't need self-help. Like, what is all this? Like I, I was, I would turn my nose up and think I don't need that. But when I started doing it and started seeing a difference it was making in me and really just, it was helping me to grow as a person and become better. And um, I noticed the positive changes. And so that's why I continue to do it. But as far as that mindset work, that personal development, it can be, you know, picking a book, right? And just having some quiet time when you first wake up to read that book for 15 minutes or to listen to a podcast that's going to speak to you. Um, for me personally, I pump for 20 minutes in the morning as I'm drinking my pre-workout and that's when I do my reading. And so I read and I have a little notebook I'll jot down things in. This is the book I'm reading right now. The tagline had me from the get-go. It said, train your mind for peace and purpose every day. Think like a monk. I tend, I'm, like a lot of people, maybe my brain is all over the place and I know a lot lately I've been feeling like it's very my I'm always thinking about you know things that are business related and I just want to kind of get in more alignment with everything in my life so this is the one I'm reading right now but pick something that is going to speak to you if you want to work on um, maybe having like better understanding where your kids are at in their life right now like maybe you're, you've got teenagers and you're having a hard time maybe connecting with them or understanding things get a book on that if you are having trouble with time management or something with you know nutrition or whatever the case may be anything that is going to speak to you and be meaningful okay dig into that first thing in the morning set a timer and just you know read it or listen to it and jot some notes down and make sure it's something that's meaningful because then you'll be more inclined to take action and not just read it to read it, right? So um, as far as, yeah, kind of personal development, there's that. And I know for me, like it's, it's ener it call me nerdy, but I think it's energizing and it's exciting to learn new things, especially if it's something I'm interested in improving. Uh, because if you do have takeaways that you can actually implement and you implement them and they work and you're like, oh, this is awesome. I feel good, right? That's that's a win-win situation. So other things you can do as far as getting your mind right and ready ready to win the day, affirmations, another thing that I always thought was kind of corny, but I do, I say affirmations in the morning out loud before I sit down, after I do my workout, before I sit down to do some work in my business. I will say affirmations that are kind of business related and also personal stuff. Um, just to help, it helps me to set my intentions for the day. It helps to get me in a mindset of gratitude. Journaling, a gratitude journal, other great ways to work on mindset and just getting yourself in that place where you are ready to to come into the day with a positive attitude and a positive mindset. Gratitude always has a way, I think, of kind of humbling us, right? So um, I think doing that is very helpful first thing in the morning. Meditation is another great, great way to kind of calm your mind before the chaos of the day sets in. I'm doing a, actually, I just started this week, a meditation program. It's 10 minutes a day. It's not a lot of time at all. There's all kinds of free apps and whatnot with meditation. So, but any of this mindset stuff, you guys, like I said, even if it's only 10 or 15 minutes, first thing in the morning, I'm telling you, it will make, if you commit to it, right? If you commit to it, it will make a difference in your day. Okay. And that doesn't mean that every day is going to be perfect. No day's perfect. It does not, not mean every day is going to be, you know, sunshine and rainbows, right? There's still going to be hard days and challenging days, but if you're at least doing these little action steps, um, chances are you're probably going to be able to take the craziness that happens in a better stride, at least a little bit more. Um, so that's kind of my input, I guess, on mindset stuff that you can work on. And again, you can maybe just pick one thing. Don't feel like you have to do all of it. Pick one thing, see if it starts to work and if you're feeling good about it and if it's impacting you positively and keep with it. And if, it, if it's not, then try something different. So, um, and then the second thing outside of mindset that I try to do every morning and um, excuse me, is um, movement, some kind of exercise, right? Getting your body moving. Um, I set my timer, so that's why I'm messing with my computer right now to make sure my <laughs> I can see the time there. Um, 
obviously, you know, I am a big fan of exercise. For me, it's like, it's my sanity. It's my mental, sh it's my mental release. It's like sweat therapy is what I call it often. It's just my outlet. Um, so it's something I value very much, but it doesn't always have to be something formal, right? It can be going, you know, going for a walk, doing just some stretching or yoga, just something to get your body in motion. Because obviously we all know the health benefits of exercise, right? It's great for our heart, lots of other amazing benefits. But outside of that, right, if you've ever exercised at some point in your life, you probably do feel good after, right? You feel that positive energy. Um, I know for me, it helps me to have more focus and I just have a better attitude and, it, you know, coming into the day. So to me, uh, that is absolutely worth doing first thing in the morning, not just for all those benefits, but also if you are somebody that's like, Oh, I, I want to work out. I want to get my workouts in. But you're also the person that by the end of the night, you are just drained physically, mentally, emotionally. I get it. I've been there. I've tried evening workouts before and I struggle with them because I'm just so done by the end of the day. And then you have all these crazy things that can happen and excuses that can creep in. So if you are somebody who's like, I want to exercise more regularly, do it first thing in the morning. And that's for a whole nother topic of discussion. I've got tips and tricks for getting it done first thing in the morning because I know it's not easy. Um, but that's another benefit to getting that movement in first thing. And not only is it going to help you if you are working towards some health and fitness goals that and you know have exercise woven into that, but also it's just going to help you come into the day ready to win the day and just feeling good. So that's what I have for you guys tonight. Um, and like I said, my, my morning routine, I just like, I love it at this point. And really it's my, mostly Monday through Friday, um, that I kind of stick to a lot of these things on the weekend. I'm a little more lax, give myself a little bit of a break, but, um, I get excited about it. Like I, it's really crazy to say that I get excited to wake up at 4 45 in the morning, but I just know that when I get these things done, um, I really do head into the day feeling so good and so energized and just ready to take on whatever, whatever it brings. So, um, but yeah, start small 15 minutes and maybe pick something that's either mindset or movement related. And I would love to hear how it goes. And if you have any questions, you guys know, uh, you know where to find me. So, all right, you guys, thank you for tuning in and I hope everybody has a wonderful evening.